Senate Democrats are also holding a vote this week to provide tax relief to working families that is paid for by taxing millionaires. Matt Laszlo reports on the effort to extend a payroll tax holiday. Most of the attention on the Super Committee focused on its mandate to cut $1.2 trillion from the debt. But now that it failed, lawmakers are frantically trying to pass the job-creating policies that were also being debated inside the closed-door talks. The first policy to come up in the Senate is an extension and expansion of a payroll tax holiday. Rhode Island Democratic Senator Jack Reed says without it, families will face a burdensome tax increase while the economy remains sluggish. First of all, if we don't pass that, that'll be a tax increase on working Americans uh, if we don't pass the legislation. Democrats want to pay for the continuation of the tax break by taxing any income over $1 million. Republicans have already defeated similar attempts to tax the wealthy this year, and Utah Republican Senator Orrin Hatch says Democrats are merely playing politics. This is $260 plus billion, and supposedly financed by another tax on the so-called wealthy. Uh, you know, it's not something that, it's a nitty-bitty bill, and it's clearly political. I mean, it's, it's not there because it's going to work, it's just clearly political. I'd be surprised if it passes. If the payroll tax holiday is extended, on average, workers would see an extra $1,500 in their paychecks for the next year. But the legislation would make the tax increase permanent. While standing by the Senate subway, Hatch said majority Democrats are trying to sneak in a permanent tax increase. And it's only for a year, and the millionaire's tax is permanent. I mean, that isn't the way to do things. In the name of reducing the deficit, Republicans have demanded any temporary spending bills be paid for up front. And Senator Reid says instead of taking money out of other programs, a new tax just makes sense. Uh, I think it's an appropriate pay for it. As the Occupy Wall Street movement has further highlighted the growing wealth gap in the U.S., Democrats also think they have a winning campaign issue. Reid says average Americans support higher taxes on the nation's wealthiest citizens. I mean, frankly, uh, the vast majority of Americans recognize that uh, this tax is fair. Uh, because it's imposed on those people are doing the very best at a time when people are doing very, many people are doing badly. The payroll tax usually goes to Social Security, which has some Democrats worried the policy could become permanent and harm the long-term solvency of the popular program. West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin says he's wary of extending the payroll tax holiday. I have, yeah. I have problems with it, you know, truly creating jobs. I haven't seen worse creating jobs uh, and basically putting a heck of a dent on Social Security. In the past, Republicans have said tax cuts pay for themselves, and many have even supported the payroll tax holiday. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid says Republican Leader Mitch McConnell is just trying to derail this latest effort in order to embarrass Democrats and the White House. The payroll tax cut would put a lot of money back in the hands of businesses and in the hands of individuals. So the reason for the Republicans' change of heart, obviously, is simple. As Senator McConnell has said, his most important goal is to defeat President Obama. It's clear the Republicans will stop at nothing to achieve that goal. The first vote on the extension of the tax breaks could occur as early as Friday. Matt Laszlo, FSRN, Washington.